Hello everybody, Laura Longo here, back in New Jersey, back home after a weekend away, up um, in Providence, seeing a Luke Bryan concert with with my daughter and family. Pretty exciting, <laughs> pretty exciting stuff. If you pop on, say who you are, where you're watching from. I'd love to be able to interact with you before I get started with the content. Don't be shy. <laughs> if you pop on, I'd love to say hi. Today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about something I just learned because I had just purchased a ticket for, well, back up a little bit. Um, when I was out at Ray's, Ray Higdon's uh, personal branding and marketing bootcamp, I had, um, Bob Heilig was one of the speakers. I was very, very impressed with and the content that he delivered. And it happens, so happens that he is having an event right in my backyard in April. So I purchased my ticket for that today. And um, it's right in Philadelphia. So if you want some information on that, thank you, Ryan, that's very nice of you. Um, if you'd like some information on that, then um, just shoot me a message. I can like, you know, give you the link for that. So, but in doing that, in buying my ticket, I given access to the last year's events um, recordings, so the modules from that. And just one module in, I was totally just blown away with value and of course think that a lot of that you would find valuable as well. So here I am to just share what I just learned and um, hope that you find it as valuable as I did. So I've been dealing, I'm talking a lot about marketing recently. You know, we can talk about prospecting and talk about recruiting and all that, but really for me, Marketing was always the way to go. I've always found myself to be able to get better results when someone reached out to me based on a message that I had put out there. And even though I may not have really known exactly what I was doing and may not have been doing it the right way, quote unquote, um, I was able to create a lot of results with marketing per se. So I'm gonna talk about marketing um, because when you when you use marketing to reach people, it really just gives you the ability to have an impact on the lives of thousands of people that you really wouldn't have had the opportunity to communicate with or meet um, ever, really. So, you know, how powerful, how powerful is that? Okay, you know things, and if you're willing to share the things that you know, then you can make a difference in so many people's lives. You know, you don't have to be an expert. And this is something that really held me back for a long time. Um, Bob Hiley calls it imposter syndrome. You know, you don't have to know everything, but if you know something that someone else doesn't know, hey Amanda, how you doing? <laughs> um, if you know something that someone else doesn't know, you have the ability to have a powerful impact in that person's life. Something that I had put, a, a, it kind of relates to something that you may have heard me say before, and I actually did a post on this, I think yesterday morning, is that you know sometimes we're so afraid of what people are gonna we hold back and you know we might be so afraid that people are gonna think that we're selfish by sharing our message or promoting our business but when ultimately we hold back from the ability to help someone else because of that fear that's what really ultimately is selfish when we hold back because of the fear of people thinking that we're going to be selfish, then we really are becoming selfish. So that um, you may have heard me say before, but it was, it, it's really powerful because it's something that I had to overcome. Something that you have to understand is that marketing has nothing to do with you. So it has, it has nothing to do with you. It's about solving the problems of other people. So when I was holding back, I was afraid of what other people were gonna think of me. I was afraid that I was gonna mess up. I was afraid that my son's gonna come in and knock over my camera and, and ask me for snacks, which has happened. <laughs> so, um, and ultimately, I had to get past that because of the greater vision of being able to have an impact on people's lives. So try not to be so worried about what other people are gonna think of you, okay? Okay, so when you are marketing, get past that and you deliver content that's valuable to other people, you immediately become valuable because Ultimately, remember, the, the goal is not to be successful. The goal is to be valuable. And even if you haven't created results, um, Bob mentions this, even if you haven't created results for yourself, if you know something that could help someone else create results, you sharing that with them makes you valuable. And ultimately, that's gonna help you create results as well. And that's usually what ends up happening. So does that make sense? Drop a one in the comments. Um, if you can relate to that at all, I would love to see that. Hope this is resonating with some people. Something that Bob said that 
kind of left an imprint on me right away was, you know, success is about, is about you. Success, having success is about you. Having significance. And he says, once you have created, then success will never be good enough again. So I'll say that again. Once you have tasted significance, success will never ever be good enough again. You know, there are a lot of people out there who are, who are creating success and who are doing great things. And if they would just take that next step outside of themselves to be able to create that success for other people and help other people with their problem, then it would be even more gratifying. So, you know, imagine what it would feel like for you and your business. Imagine what it would feel like to have someone come up to you, give you a huge hug with tears streaming down their face and to tell you that you have so powerfully, positively impacted their life. Like, you know, for me, and I'm sure for many of the people watching this, like that would, it would trump so much of what someone could call success, material things, money, all that. You know, that, that, that significance of being able to have that kind of an impact in someone's life so far exceeds anything that you're able to create as far as success is concerned. So how do you create that? By putting yourself out there, by being willing to share the things that you've learned, by being, being willing to mess up, <laughs> by being willing to fail and fail forward. You know, how cool is that? That you have the power to have that kind of powerful impact. I know that. I know that's your why, Amanda. Totally can relate to that. I've seen that through you. You're a very, very great example of that. When you put yourself out there, you have the ability to impact so many people. You know, like I said, I, um, I purchased this ticket to this event and I have access to these modules from last year's event and I will be sharing what I learn along the way. So if you'd like to be kept up to date with this content as I learn it, um, feel free to catch my blog at uh, lauralongo.com forward slash blog. Um, if you visit there, uh, get your free download. There's a um, free MP3 that gives you my top seven ways to respond when someone tells you they don't have the money for your offer to be able to help you create results in your business. And if you'd like to be kept up to date with these live videos, catch me at facebook.com forward slash Laura Longo page. That's my business page where I will be ultimately broadcasting most of these videos in the future. So you don't miss out on those if this is something that you like to see. So I hope that you found this valuable. I hope you found it as valuable as I did when I went through the module. And if you did, please feel free to share it with anybody that you think would find, valuable, find it valuable too. So have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.